All right. So I feel a bit overwhelmed, which in the jewelry sorting world, I guess is good. Hey everybody, it's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. Today I have a jewelry unboxing. I know for my jewelry fam, it's been a little bit since I've done a jewelry unboxing, but today's got a little twist to it. America's uh, Thrift Supply reached out to me to do a, an unboxing of one of their mystery jewelry boxes, and they are 10 pounds, and they are, I think, $60, $59.99. Let me double check on that. But the twist is that frequently when I am asked to do unboxings, I always, I say frequently, always get the comment that, of course they're gonna send you good stuff. Of course it's gonna be good because they sent it to you. Um, and so what I have done is I have the box here that they sent me, but then on the sly, I went and ordered a box under a different name just so we could do a little comparing so that we can see if what I'm getting is what is the typical type of box that they send out or if they sent me some special stuff. I am already noticing that the box that they sent me um, is white and the box that I ordered is brown. So maybe it's a coincidence. I don't know. We're going to find out. But if um, at the end of this, if you're interested in ordering from them, the there is a coupon code down below, Texas Gal, and I'll have all the other stuff linked. They have other mystery boxes as well, not just jewelry. So you can check that out. Um, I'm not getting paid for this. They did send me a box to review, which I was like, okay, why not? I like jewelry. You like jewelry. Let's have some fun. And because I am working with 20 pounds of jewelry here, 10 in each box. I'm sure you probably could have done that math on your own. I am going to probably not show every single little piece. I am going to dump it. We're going to do some, some speed ups. I'm sure there's another word for that. What do you call it? You know, when I short sort the jewelry real quick, you know, and I'm going to sort it out into stuff that's just kind of like going to go to a lot and then stuff that I'm going to sell uh, online or probably it's going to be some of the stuff I'm going to start selling on whatnot. I've got that all set up, but I haven't had my first whatnot show yet. So some of the things you see in this video you might uh, see for sale in some of my whatnot shows and if again if there's anything that you see that you have to have then please email me at texasgaltreasures at gmail.com and we will we'll figure that out okay so first up I'm gonna dump the 10 pounds that they sent me we're gonna sort through that talk about it and then I will dump the 10 pounds that I bought under my pseudonym and I'm not going to tell my pseudonym because then if I do this again, they will maybe know or I'll be accused of like, well, of course they knew. Whatever. Whatever. All right. Here we go. All right. So here is the box that they sent me and I'm going to pull the bag out of the box and put it on the board that I have here. Okay. Again, 10 pounds. Here we go. And as always, let's do some first impressions. First impressions, I see lots of uh, rings and stuff down here, maybe at the bottom. Uh, I see some like Claire stuff and just randoms. Okay. I see some cool earrings, bracelets. I see something that looks like it could be silver or maybe a little alpaca. And, oh, flip it over. And yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard to see with the glare, but I'm going to dump it. I'm going to start sorting it out and then maybe get some tubs. This is something I should have thought of. Welcome. You know, you guys who know me, know me. I'm the queen of, why am I not prepared? All right, let me go get some tubs and my magnet and my loop and all this stuff I should already have. And uh, let's dive into this. All right, I've got my containers. I've got my loop and my magnet so we can check things out here in a sec but now it's time to dump and to speed up okay so i feel a bit overwhelmed which in the jewelry sorting world i guess is good so I'm just gonna start right now sorting out the things that I think I'm gonna try to sell uh, individually versus the things I'm going to lot up. And I'm gonna speed this bad boy up and we'll go from there. And if you see anything that you're like, wait, wait, that went in the wrong pile, uh, let me know in the comments because there's always stuff that I end up missing. Uh, 
Let's see how we're gonna do this. Cause I know you're gonna wanna see what I'm doing and I'm gonna wanna see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna try to just pop it out as quick as possible and then stick it in uh, one container or the other and we'll go from there. So some bracelets. breakdown so far of the box that they sent me to review so far this side it's kind of you can't know if you can tell it's kind of overflowing my little tub uh, is the stuff that I'm planning on selling individually slash on whatnot or maybe might be something that I can scrap if there's broken pieces of silver and stuff I'm gonna break this down here for you in just a second this is all stuff that I'm just gonna put in a bag and I'm gonna sell as a lot there's stuff here that's still like sellable but I'm just quick going through and just trying to decide just you know snap judgment like what do I want to sell what do I want to not, not want to sell but again there's still like sellable stuff in here probably stuff I missed but I was just trying to move through it pretty quickly um, yeah so that's what I'm gonna do with this just bag this stuff back up I'm gonna break this stuff down I'm repeating myself why I don't know and I'm gonna give you the lowdown of like rings earrings and what's you know what's gonna what my plans are all the stuff so I have sorted out everything I've got all the necklaces that I'm going to sell individually all separated out so i'm going to show you the necklaces that i think are worthy of selling i'm going to show you rings pendants i have them all like like i keep repeating myself separated out uh and yeah we'll talk about that so the necklaces of, uh, that i have got there's about 20 or 21 necklaces that i think are sellable um or that i'm choosing to sell i will say that there are other necklaces that are probably sellable as well but I just know myself and so I'm just trying to kind of go with the things that are going to be ones that I can list the quickest or maybe will sell the quickest. I mean, they're definitely more sellable things, but these are just my ones that I cherry picked. So the first one was just kind of an interesting, this is from a St. Lawrence church in Tampa, Florida. The only reason I chose this as one of the sellable items, not like gold or silver or anything like that, but Sometimes these re religious medallions, depending on where they're from, um, has some, some people have a uh, sentimental value or they want something, you know, it's got the name of the church that it came from, etc. So that's, uh, that's why I chose that one as a sellable piece. Oh, there was one I already threw over here. <laughs> this one uh, I set aside because my, one of my kids is kind of into jewelry right now. And this kind of chain might be something that they want. All right, next up. Let me just kind of scoot things over. Uh, we've got this one that it's, again, not silver or gold. I saved all the ones that are silver and slash gold for, for the end of the necklaces. But this one is a Tennessee necklace and, you know, some a Tennessean. Is that what they're called? A Tennessean might want this little uh, necklace with their state on it, which is kind of nice. Then this one, I need to... Let me scooch these over a little bit. <clears throat> this one still has a bit of a tangle in it, so this one needs to be detangled. I liked the chain, the style of the chain. Let me zoom in, in a little bit for you so you can get a better look at it. And uh, it's just got a nice little classic look, and the chain is dainty and feminine. So I just thought that was a really nice uh, one as well. And I think, I'm trying to think of what this kind of style is called. There's a name for it, but it, I don't know. I can't always remember all the words. That's just the way it is with my brains. Uh, but this is one that I thought was really feminine and sweet. So I thought, okay, I'll sell that one. Same deal with this one. I liked the style of it. It was just a really nice, pretty medallion kind of look. Uh, and it had this double chain, which I thought was a really nice feature. I did not see a maker's mark on this, but that doesn't mean that an item isn't sellable. So I've always said, you know, it doesn't always matter if it has a maker's mark or not. Sometimes people are just looking for a certain style, certain look. And so I thought oh, that would be a good one. I set this one aside because it looked like rose gold. Again, the chain is a little knotted. I still need to fix that up. I didn't see a maker's mark on this one either. Uh, but, you know, there are people that really like that rose gold look and it's got a sweet little heart, like almost like a mother and child type of heart, big heart, little heart. Uh, 
Rose gold is not my particular favorite, but my mom loves it. So hey, there you go. It's a lover of every kind of jewelry. Next piece is this. Look at her. She's got a little cute winky face. And this one is a Kate Spade necklace. Let's see if I can get the tag down here. So there's a little hang tag, Kate Spade, New York, and it's got a little spade charm on it as well. And a nice cute little, ah, I can get a hold of her, winky face pendant. Isn't she cute? So this one, and on the back it says saucy. Ooh, saucy. All right, so little Miss Saucy here is, I can't get a hold of her to turn it back over for you, uh, is something that I will definitely sell. I think she's adorable. Next is this, it's kind of a, not quite a, it's a, one of those that would sit kind of at the base of the neck. It's a little bit longer than that. So it's not crazy long, but it's a really nice textured chain. And I've seen a lot more people wearing uh, chains and this style of chain lately. So it's simple. Uh, it's got a nice design. Again, no maker's mark, but I really think that it's something. And I've got a, you know, every chain has a name. <laughs> so it's good to find out. And there's, a, there's websites where you can figure out like the name of this style of chain versus you know, versus this style of chain, you know, there's a, I know this is like a flat one, like a Cuban, but I don't think that's exactly, this one is not exactly a Cuban, I don't think, because some of the links are bigger, I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, so when you're selling jewelry, it, it, it behooves one to go and find out the name of the chain, because somebody might be looking for that, that keyword. So I will have to find that out, this nice little textured chain, it's almost like a fish, uh, fish, fish hook, not fish hook, but fish scale. This is the next necklace again. This one would probably sit right at the base of the throat and it's got these really pretty like uh, peridot colored and like little pink colored stones. Really sweet. Again, just thought it was pretty and dainty and that somebody might like it. So that's why I chose this one for selling. This one again, this is like a flat snake style and there is a name for this one and I can't think of what it is either, but it's almost like liquid gold. It's very like movable and very flat and shiny. And uh, so I tend to, when I see um, clasps like these, I always take a closer look at them because a lot of times this style of clasp and then like this type of ending, you know, sometimes we'll have gold or silver. <clears throat> and I'll have another example here in just a second. So I always like this style a lot and it makes me want to dig in there and see if I see any marks. But on this one, there were not, you know, you can see there's no marks here. Flip it over. I think there might have been, maybe I'm thinking of the other one I have here. Yeah, this one doesn't have any marks. And then, oh, you can't see it. Um, another thing that I check for when I was sorting everything out on these is magnetism. So when I pulled all the stuff, where did my magnet go? There it is. Um, you know, see how it's magnetic. So that mag, when an item is magnetic, that's jewelry. Generally, it means that it's not going to be silver or gold. Um, there have been. I mean, it's pr I don't find it very often, but you can't rule it out. From time to time, you'll come across uh, something that is silver that has got some magnetism to it, just because of if it's a 925 silver, it could have something else. I don't find it very often, but you know, it doesn't hurt to test if you've got a testing kit. I do, ah, which we'll be pulling out here after a little bit. So this is a, just a really nice feminine flat chain necklace that I just thought was really, really pretty. And so that was why I chose that one to continue to sell. And I've got to get the name for this one as well. Just really cool. Then this necklace, which has got a really cool medallion and dangle. This one is wrong way. I've uh, got a nice little howlite turquoise stone in the middle and just some other, you know, gem, they look like gemstones around it. This is total costume jewelry, but it's got a nice look to it, kind of boho, no maker's mark again that I could see, but I figured that this was going to be something that someone would like because it's got lots of colors and yeah, some people like this kind of stuff. Next up is this really nice twisted uh, faux pearl necklace. Oh, I just noticed there is a hang tag on this one. And the hang tag, I think that says Avon. Let me see. No, it says, oh, my eyes, y'all. My eyes is getting owed. I don't want to admit it. R-M-N. I don't know what that is off the top of my head. Um, but it's got this 
what colors would you call that? Kind of like a brown and champagne colored uh, twisted faux pearl necklace. So really pretty. So that was another one that I thought, I'm gonna try to sell that. This one, I mean, this is totally 80s, y'all. <laughs> Somebody who's like trying to be so chic. Oh, what is the artist's name? And he had all the like women, like, oh gosh, I can't think, but they were all like black and glossy and, uh, but it's that kind of style. It looks like it's trying to be, uh, um, cloisonne, but it's not. It's just kind of painted on enamel on a wooden, that's wooden. Um, and then, yeah, so it's still a cool necklace, kind of like that choker, you know, throat style necklace that somebody I thought might enjoy. Pretty cool. Another nice, nice vintage necklace we've got here with some AB stones. This is the AB is Aurora Borealis. It's got that iridescence and lots of different kind of changing colors in it. So another nice vintage necklace in this lot. Beautiful. All right, now we are getting into the ones that are at least marked silver or gold. So first up is this kind of flat sneak style chain necklace. See how I told you the, the, that style of clasp? Let me zoom it back in for you with these um, end caps on the chain so that a lot of times will alert me to look a little bit closer. And on these, it says M-I-L-O-N, Milan, or M-I-L-O-R, -M M-I-L-O-R, Malor. And then, on the back side, it says 925 Italy on, on that part right there. So got the 925 Italy, which I'm not sure I'm going to be able to zoom in for you. Any hues. Um, so was this the one? There was one of them that was magnetic. No, maybe not. Okay. Um, but what I, you can't see it again. <laughs> All right. What I generally do though, when I'm going to sell something that is silver or gold, I want to make sure that I know what I'm selling. So I have a gold and silver testing kit and it is their acids. I've got lots of videos on how to use them and, but I will make sure that I test it before I sell it because I, stamps are cheap. So somebody can come along and stamp something. Not that this one is necessarily, but uh, stamps are cheap. So good score. There's a one silver necklace potential. Then we've got another necklace here. That is this woven silver chain. And this one again is also marked. Let me get down there so I can see what the mark was again. All right, so this one is also marked 925. It's not my particular favorite um, style of necklace. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit. But uh, yeah, so still another silver necklace. Then we've got another silver chain that was here. Another just really pretty, again, gotta learn that that style, but there's that clasp I'm talking to you about that sometimes you'll see, not always, but you know, a lot of times it's a little bit nicer, a little more robust, and sometimes the marks will be on the little ends of the chain on those little pieces there. So another silver necklace. And then this one is also a silver necklace. This one's very twisty turny, and it looks like it might have something else in there as well. But as you can see, you know, it's got that style of clasp, those little end caps. You can see the stamps pretty clearly on this one. So there's that silver necklace. Again, not my exact, not my favorite style, but hey, silver, silver. And then this silver necklace will probably go into my scrap pile, maybe, unless I can fix it. Uh, but it's missing, I mean, it's missing a jump ring, honestly. I think I can handle it. Uh, but you can see the little label there. This is another feature that a lot of times on gold or silver jewelry, you'll see that because it'll be stamped on that little label. Um, and yeah, it just needs a jump ring to reconnect it right there. But I've got another little silver necklace here. Now then, let's talk about these last two necklaces. I've got another flat chain like this. Um, that I had on the bigger one, but this one is marked. Uh, and this one is marked 925 RL, which may be Ralph Lauren. And then the thing about this, if it's confusing you, is that it's, even though it's marked 925 Italy, which let me see if you can see that there, 925 Italy, um, you, you might think, oh my gosh, it's gold. So it could be, you know, plated and be sterling silver underneath, which is probably what's going on here. But it's beautiful, it's a really sweet necklace. And again, it'll be something I test. When I test it, it'll just be 
I'll test for silver. So the silver will still show through on the scratch test. Now, finally, there's this necklace, which uh, is marked 18K, right? Or is it 14K? Hang on. 14K. This one's marked 14K. Uh, let's check the magnet. So it's not magnetic. Nope. And it is marked 14K. So and it's beautiful. I mean, it's just a gorgeous necklace for sure. So this necklace is one that I will be testing here in a little bit because I want to make sure. I mean, this is a good amount of gold if that's a 14 karat gold necklace. Uh, and it's really pretty. So that could bring in a nice little tidy profit. As far as rings go, there were 67 rings that I decided I would possibly try to sell or ones that were more sellable than others, I felt. Uh, so let me show you. There were a few that were marked silver and one that was marked gold, which I will test as well. But I'm just going to quick uh, do a quick show you on the on the rings. Let me zoom in so I can show you one at a time. I'll probably speed it up as we do this but um i just wanted to point out that you know even if rings have got this stretchy back it doesn't mean that it's not sellable right so you might have a really cool like really showy ring with a stretchy back like this but some people actually prefer those and maybe they don't sell for a ton but i've sold some for for a good amount really depends on what it looks like in the front and yeah, like I say, some people that that stretch, you know, really gives them extra comfort. And, you know, if their hands swell or if they've got arthritis, you know, then they can still wear pretty rings and not have to worry about like, oh, I can't get my ring over my knuckle because my knuckle's kind of swollen today. Uh, but they can still wear pretty stuff and enjoy. So here we go. I'm going to show you the different rings and then we'll uh, talk about the ones that are silver and possibly gold. So there's that one. So let's take a look now at the rings that are marked silver and or gold. So the first ring that I have that is marked silver is this one. It's got this cool stacked look, you know, also kind of 80s. Uh, and then it's got this gold rim at the top. I guess it's kind of 2000s-y too. So very kind of modern looking, mixed metal. And I have a gem tester as well, so I can always test that gem. Looks like maybe some kind of topaz in there. Uh, so that is one ring that is marked silver. And then this is the next one. It looks like it's got, it looks black to the naked eye, but when I'm looking at it now, it looks blue in the light. So it might be a, a bit of a lapis um, ball, I guess. It's not a cabochon because it's not flat on the back, see? So it's mounted in there. A bead, I suppose. Not quite a bead, though. Anyway, so this one's marked, uh, and it's got this little roping right here as well. So uh, on closer inspection, let me look at this. So what I'm looking for to determine whether or not this is like lapis versus sodalite is I'm looking for little uh, gold specks because frequently lapis will have like gold specks or black specks in it and sodalite's got a lot more like white um, in it. So I'm thinking that this is lapis because I don't really see any white. I will have to do closer looks at it under better lighting, I think, because um, I don't see a lot of like other flecking either. So it could just be just a random blue. I don't know. I just need better light. All right, so I'll take a closer look at this one. The next one that is marked sterling is this ring. 
So some of these rings do look like, you know, the ones you might find like in, the, in one of those candles, you know, you melt the candle and there's like jewelry in it or like bath bombs that have jewelry, which is fine. I mean, maybe it's not going to sell for a ton of money, but I like some of these other ones that are like so that aren't silver, uh, but somebody might still want it for a fun costume jewelry piece or just something pretty blingy to wear. Anyway, this one is marked silver. Still will test it, of course, before I list it, but that's really pretty. Uh, again, same thing here, marked sterling. We'll check out these stones. Um, probably just, I don't know, we'll have to pull out the tester and see. And then this really pretty pink one as well. As all of these were marked silver that I just showed you. And then this one uh, is marked 18 karat gold. I don't know that I'm sure that it is. This part back here is really textured which is unusual, but I don't know. I mean, but it is, it's marked 18 karat and it's marked 585, both. It's marked 14 karat and it's marked 585. I said 18 karat, but yeah. So I will definitely test this because the, the way, I don't know how to describe it, but like the way it feels is very suspect. It feels very coarse and like it's been here. Unless somebody dropped it in a, a, oh, what do you call it? A garbage disposal. It feels like a little, like it's chewed up a little bit on the back. I don't, and then this part is kind of textured. So anyway, I'm definitely going to have to test it. And you can even kind of see, like here, it's a lot shinier. And then towards this part, it's almost like it's a different metal. Um, yeah, it's weird. So I'm going to test that too here in a little bit. All right, let's move on to bracelets. So with bracelets, I have 50 bracelets that I pulled that I can sell or will attempt to sell individually. 14 of those are marked silver. So let's dive into these. I'll show you what I've got and I'll show you which ones are marked uh, silver. So this one is marked Premier, like Premier Jewelry. I like this one. This one's got little scarabs. It's really pretty. Nice little gold tone with scarabs. No maker's mark, but that's okay. So that one's pretty nice right there. I like this style, this like bangle clamper style. Like, well, this one's a, a hinged. It doesn't have a safety on it, but that's okay. It's still really pretty. Another flat style. I don't want to keep wanting to call it a Cuban, but it's not. But nice little gold tone chain bracelet. This one as well. It's kind of got these linked panels. No maker's mark that I could see. It looked like it has a sticker at one point, probably said something, but um, a nice little toggle clasp on that one. So that's a nice one. Uh, this is a nice leather turquoise wrap around with a snap. So that one is going to probably sell pretty nicely. Uh, I don't anticipate it hanging out for too long. It's pretty nice colors. So there's that. Another, this one, uh, a clamper style bangle. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. It's so nice. This one is pretty awesome. It's a big cuff and it's got this antiqued look to it with these owl, this owl in a tree. That's pretty awesome. Uh, I don't see again, any maker's mark on it, but still a really cool piece, I think. Uh, then we've got this one that has another little owl on the chain. Uh, looks like maybe it had something else hooked on there as well. There is, I mean, it's kind of a mix of stuff. I don't know that this is the right origami owl. Okay, so origami owl. They make the little charms, right, for the, for the little, it's like a container that you put the little teeny charms in. I have one that I got a million years ago. So are they still around? I don't know. Okay, there's that. Uh, and then this really cool like lucite bracelet with these polka dots inside black and pink and white that's pretty cool so that's another one that's gonna sell then this one i pulled it needs to be cleaned for sure but i wanted to see what that was when i was doing my just like snap judgment i saw this and i thought well let me pull it aside to look at it closer my saint my hero is what it says on that side and that side says blessed so my saint, my hero, and then blessed, and then it's got these beads that have uh, a cross. What's the name of this cross? Oh gosh, it's gonna drive me nuts. I know it. Where it's like a, oh gosh, there's a name for this cross and I can't think of it. You guys will help me. I, I know you will. 
<laughs> All right, then there's this really cool copper bracelet. It's a nice mid-century modern look to it. It's got this inlay. It's almost, it almost feels like ceramic, a ceramic type inlay in there. It's not plastic. It's really cool. All right, so this, even though it's got some some signs of age and wear on the inside, it looks pretty good on the outside. So that'll be a nice uh, mid-century modern bracelet clamper style. Oh, wait, there is a mark. Ha ha. I see it now. Let's see what it is. Matisse Renoir. So Matisse Renoir is what that says. So now I can look it up. Fantastic. All right, this one I pulled aside, not so much for the bracelet, but because it has one of these little prayer charms on it. Definitely looks silver. It's tarnished up like silver. So I'll probably just take this charm off of all of this because this is all sprung and like loose and that 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 plastic. I mean that's that's gonna break pretty soon. It's not stretching back really easily. Uh, so there's a little prayer box. So I know some people like those. This is a little you know cylinder style one. A lot of them I see are are cubes, little squares. So that'll come off and I will sell that little prayer box by itself. Then, oh dear, you have really tangled yourself up, haven't you? Okay, let's get you open. Which way do you go? Poof, there we go. <clears throat> so this little gold tone, I feel like I'm dealing with a snake that's coiled up on itself. I've been watching too much alone. Do y'all watch that show? I love it. I love it. Uh, anyway, so here we've got this little gold tone bracelet that has little probably crystals in it or something like that CZ. I don't see any kind of maker's mark on it but let me flip this part over and take a peek again. I feel like I already looked but I just want to double check it because it's nice and I really like this style of bracelet a lot. So this is one that will get sold. It's really pretty. Uh, again with this one, this is, it's got little uh, butterflies, so just sweet, a sweet little bracelet. You know, somebody might want it for their granddaughter or daughter. Let me zoom back in on this if I can. So you can see it's got these little teeny um, butterflies and little blue stones. So, nice. This is gorgeous. This one's right up my alley. I love, love bangles and I love bangles that, I, I don't know. Anyway, safety chain, safety clasps, all this stuff. Can I figure this one out? This is like, aha, there we go. So really pretty. I didn't see a mark on it on my quick glance over everything. Oh yeah, I do. Okay, so down there it says fossil. So that's nice, it'll help me look it up, but this is a really pretty, pretty bangle, which might be a catch and release, uh, which means that I might keep it for a little while and wear it and then decide, you know what? I think I'm ready to sell. So this might be a catch and release for me. Then there's this multi-chain bracelet, which I liked as well. It's got multi-metal, multi-styles of chain, and this one is Jenny Bird. Then we've got, oh, that's backwards, another little linked bracelet like so. Just a gold tone, simple, you know, but somebody might want just like a simple, elegant little bracelet, and that might just do the trick. And then we've got one with the coins on it. Those are always, oops, you can't see them, always popular, these different little coin bracelets. Uh, I can't see Republic of France is what it says. Okay, Francaise, um, I believe that's what it says. But again, yeah, that's what it is. Uh, so yeah, nice little French coin, probably souvenir style bracelet. That's sweet, somebody's gonna enjoy that. This one also looks like a fossil. Oh, it is a fossil. Okay, I saw these birds and I'm like, I know fossil was uh, using these little birdies for a while. So this is a little fossil bracelet. Again, could be a good seller. That's a nice little addition there with that um, iridescent. And it's got this little carved butterfly. I'm not sure you can see it. It's kind of etched little butterfly on that mother of pearl looking cabochon. It's pretty. It is mother of pearl. Okay, cool. All right, then another little multi-chain bracelet. I just thought that was sweet as well. I like the different styles of the bracelet of the chains. <laughs> it looks like disciples, uh, but we'll see. I'll have to do a little digging on this bracelet. Pretty cool. All right, this one, I was kind of surprised wasn't at least uh, silver, silver plates. Oh, well, there is a mark over here. How did I miss that? P-A-J. And then it says BB underneath that. I don't know what that stands for. But I don't see any like, I kind of expected to see a 925 and just think maybe this was like 
plated, but I didn't. But again, this is the style that I just, I love bracelets like this that have the clasps, they clip, and then they lock in place with the little safeties on the side. I love the, the detailing on bracelets like that. So I'm going to have to look up that PAJ and find out what that stands for, because this is a really sweet bracelet. This one is another that I thought might be silver, even though, I mean, just because of the tarnish on it, but this is a big plastic uh, stone in it, but it's fun. Yeah, I was looking at the tarnish, like something here is not matching. It's like kind of tarnished like silver, no marks, and definitely magnetic, so, but it's a fun piece. Somebody might enjoy that a lot as well. Here we go. This is, this is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it. So there's a nice Psalms scripture, uh, clamper style bracelet. Somebody will enjoy that. Reminder, uh, another style of bracelet that I love, bangle, hinged, safety chain. That's just right up my alley. But once again, not marked, but still a nice one that I think I won't have any trouble selling. And then here's another one. This is a nice big cuff style bracelet. Uh, I wish I had two of them because that would be a cool in pairs, kind of a Wonder Woman uh, bracelet. I don't know if I can get that on me. I can, like so. Isn't that cool? Awesome. Uh, it's not my style though, so <laughs> it makes me feel like a little weird, but that's just me. Uh, okay, now I can't get out. I'm trapped. Oh, I got it in. I feel like this is one of those Chinese finger traps. Got it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I made it. I survived. Um, all right. So yeah, that's another fun one that will sell. Uh, then we've got this. It says life is good on the water. There's a little uh, anchor charm on that. It looks like there might be a brand on the back of this. If I can get it to hold still. No, nope, just hammered. All right. So somebody will enjoy that. We've got a nice little Alabama bracelet. It's got this close you can clasp closure it and then you know open close type of deal you know how open and close works i'm sure by this point and then we've got this it kind of looks like that pandora style bracelet but it might be like a i want to say it looks like brighton but then this does not look like brighton style uh let's see what this hang tag says it says pandora on it but i don't believe it this says T. I love T. Little feet. Yeah, this little charm says Pandora. But I'm telling you now, I I am very. I don't think so. <laughs> this little piece should unscrew if it were Pandora, like to get them off. But it doesn't appear to unscrew at all. And then these pieces would. Oh uh, yeah. So, I mean, come on. I think we can call it. It's a fake Pandora. Uh, then this little bracelet again. These look like money signs to me, don't they? They're a little just waves, I think, but they kind of look like money signs. This could be my uh, <laughs> bracelet. That could be my lucky, lucky charm bracelet for making money. Uh, and this just says... This is, this is 925 on it, so I didn't put it in my 925 pile. So let me stick it over there. Why didn't I? Was it magnetic? What was the reason? I know that the ring, the... Sometimes you'll see, like, this part will be magnetic, right? The clasp. The rest of it, well, the chain, yeah. But this part's not. And and the spring inside of that could be what's magnetic on it. So I'm going to double check this one. Here is another bracelet with some nice different color medallion cabochons. Someone might like this um, multicolored bracelet. Then we've got another that's like this Pandora looking bracelet. Uh, this, what does it say over here? This one does say, is it Brighton or Pandora? I can't read it, it's too small. Million, it says million on that side. It says one in a million. This is one in a million. Okay, cool. Uh, this looks like a Pandora style clamp. Yeah, and that's a Pandora, A-L-E, unless it's, so when I say that clamp, so it's like a stopper, it pops off like so, and then you can clamp it back on to keep your beads from flying off. But here on the back, <clears throat> let me zoom in so you can see. 
the mark on this Pandora, how it says A and A L E. Um, and that is a Pandora mark. I'll have to double check all of these charms to make sure they're Pandora, but that's pretty cool. I didn't put that with my silver stuff either because when I was doing my snap judgments, I was just like, oh, you know what? I bet this is going to be a fakey Pandora. So I'll just kind of stick it over to the side. That's sweet though. It's got lots of little really nice charms, little lovey, lovey, dovey charms. Um, I like that a lot. A little love you, hearts, enamel hearts, a little cross. These are fun. This one opens and closes. Let's look at that cross. It looks like the back is telling me it might have some stones because of the little holes. Yeah, see, it's got some little, little sweet little stones. Let's see what the, the love note is. Can we open it? Does it open? Scoot over, everybody. Hang on. That's a fun, look, it's got three pages. Oh, what have we here? Let's see. There's a heart on one. Oh, and there's an eye up there. Eye, heart. I think I know where this is going. Tacos, right? Tacos? Hot dogs? Oh, no, you. Oh, all right. Well, I guess that works. All right, so sweet little Pandora bracelet. That's going to really bring in a good profit. I'll have to, because you could sell the charms individually. You could sell that as a whole, the whole shebang. I just have to price out what the different charms sell for. Because they're they can be very expensive, so very nice bracelet. I have to change my numbers. All right, and then this really cool bracelet. Uh, it's got this I mean, kind of a modern look to it. This barbell, this brown leather. I'm not sure it's real leather or faux leather, but it's a really cool piece. So that bracelet is very awesome. All right, so I need to change my numbers as far as silver because I found a couple extra silver ones. Oh wait, we got another my one. Battery died. All right, so next up is this really cool vintage bracelet. It's got these nice big panels and these cream color designs. Looks like it might be missing a couple little pearls there, beads, um, but still really pretty, so yeah. All right, so I have to redo my count for the silver because we found this one that was the Pandora, which is a nice score, and then this one, which might also be silver. But let's take a look at the other ones that I had pulled that actually this is not one it got mixed up with them but there is a mark on the back of this oops you can't see it yeah this one got mixed up with my my silver one so that one is not silver okay so next we've got this paneled bracelet which also I think got mixed up oopsies all right I got another one mixed up I'm gonna have to count out my silver ones again but it's got this nice clasp it's not sticking well it's kind of sticking um, if that happens and you can just tighten that little pinched part up right there see it's kind of loose but you can you can tighten that up to make it really stay put see it doesn't really stay put um, anyway so there we go all right so then we've got this cuff bracelet this is not probably 925 but maybe alpaca there's a mark there so sometimes it'll say you know Mexico or alpaca silver uh, this one might actually say both. Yeah, this one says alpaca, Mexico. And then this one's got that inlay of mother of pearl and abalone. I thought this was missing a little piece when I was looking at it before, but maybe not. Yeah, initially when I was looking at this, I thought, oh gosh, it's missing some, some of the inlay. But no, it's all there. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so that's a nice little piece. <clears throat> And there's this silver bracelet with the black, probably black enamel in there. Uh, and they want it to look like marcasites, but I don't think there's actually marcasites in there, just kind of pinched metal, but still a nice little bracelet. This silver bracelet has got all the different uh, semi-precious gemstones in it. And it has that clasp that I really like, like so. But I can see the amethyst, the garnet, the pyrida, the citrine, the probably uh, topaz, blue topaz, and then it just repeats. It's really pretty. Nice little bracelet. And then another silver chain bracelet woven. It could use a little cleanup. It's got that box style clasp, the fold over safety. I get asked frequently, do I clean the silver? Not always. If I feel like it's going to enhance the piece or if it's super duper dirty, then I'll clean it up a bit. Uh, but some people like that tarnish, so I hate to take that away because it does take time for it to build back up. 
another little tennis style bracelet that's set in silver and it's got this box this one's got a hidden box clasp and two safeties on either side then just a little teeny tiny uh, silver chain bracelet this may be another catch and release i like this one a lot so it's got these hinged kind of panels looks like you know maybe two little stones in there instead of one and then i don't know i just like this one a lot so and again it's got that hidden box clasp with the double safety like so they kind of poke out that's kind of weird but maybe that's the thing like they're a little that one's a little loose that one needs to get fixed up um but yeah pretty nice little bracelet then another silver, just flat style snake chain. I'm sure there's another, it's just like a flat silver bracelet. Another silver bracelet with this kind of open weave. You can see through it a bit, you know, that open weave. Uh, that's really cool as well. Nice silver piece marked on the back. Looks like there's something else written there with the silver. Uh, 925 Italy, I-L-O-R, oh, probably Milor, M-I-L-O-R. Uh, like it was on, on the other bracelet. So yeah, that's a nice piece as well. And then another little silver, smart silver, 925 bracelet. Some of these would need to be tested. And then here's another. I really like this clasp a lot. I like the details in that one. But another, it's got these long panels and the pink stones, which is a nice detail on those. So silver bracelets, we're looking at one, two, So we're looking at 13 silver or marked silver bracelets. The next thing I pulled were pendants. So let's take a look at the pendants that we got here. Overall, it's been pretty good. I, I can't complain uh, as far as what they sent me. So we'll look here in just a second at what, what I got and compare the two. But let's look at what we have here as far as... Is that all the pendants? No, a few more little charm slash pendants that we can look at. And okay, that looks like it. All right, so as far as pendants go, take a peek. Let me pull up my list because I made a list. Okay, but 12 pendants and three of them are silver or possibly silver. So I just liked this one. It kind of gave me that mermaid vibe. Looks like a handmade one. This anchor with the cross it's it looks like at one point it was kind of like matte gold on it but now sorry i'm going the wrong way it's kind of rubbing off so i'm not sure about the sellability of it as you can see it's kind of rubbed off over there uh, a little bit more on the back you can see where it's rubbed off so i don't know i put it over here to snap judgment uh this is a nice one looks like it could have been silver but i couldn't find a mark on it so i don't i don't think it is especially looking at the back a little closer but this part looks like it's silver. Did I miss a, a mark in there? I'm looking inside. Sometimes it's like in there. Looks like there might be a mark in there after all. I was working on this late last night and then started again this morning. Uh, and then this one, I just, I pulled it. Snap judgment. It may not sell. It's got some wear to it. This is another one that I thought, you know, is a nice one. Just a simple, I thought it might be silver too, but it's not. And where are we at here? This, I, I kind of have an affinity for the gold nugget style because my grandmother really liked it. It's got a little stone set in it. This is not marked and it is magnetic, so I think it's just costume. It's really pretty though. Uh, so I pulled that aside. This little heart is marked 925. So there's that one. Uh, this uh, owl is also 925. It needs to be cleaned up badly. And then this one I was hoping was silver. It's really pretty. Got this nice Art Deco look to it with all of the hematite, this mother of pearl backing here. But I could not, for the life of me, find a mark on it. And I think it's even magnetic. Yeah, it's... Let me see. It was, I thought, magnetic. Uh, it's got a little, little pull to it. There we go, yeah. Uh, now, I know I had another one that was... Maybe I miss, misspoke. Uh, this one 
is, I see, I should have done this this morning because now I'm like, I can't remember. Uh, so maybe there were two rather than four, unless I'm missing some down in here, um, as far as silver. So this one I, oh, hang on, you can't see this cross. Uh, this little cross, I want to look at it a little closer. I could not find a mark on it for the life of me. It's not magnetic. I don't know if it's gold or not, but I can test it and find out. But I, like I said, I didn't find a mark on it at all. But it's kind of nuggety. If that makes, is that a word? Nuggety? It's kind of like chunky, like roughly made. See? So I don't know if it's something that was a handmade piece. Oh, somebody's going to weed eat right now. Um, and maybe that that's why it's not marked. Looks like it's got vines wrapped around it. It's pretty cool. I feel like I keep seeing, maybe that's a mark. Maybe that's a mark now. All right, I am going to put this with my other ones that I'm testing for gold. Just because, I don't know, I have a weird feeling about it. That maybe it is, but uh, it doesn't hurt to test it. These are my brooches that I felt like I could probably sell them on their own. This is a cute little bear. He plays the drums. So kind of Christmassy, I guess you could call them a little Christmas bear. Pa pom pom right? He moves, his arms move, his legs move. Uh, looks like there is a mark. So he could be worn as a pendant. Flips away. And then there is... What appears to be a B A T Y A. So I gotta take a peek up and look at that. So B A T Y A on that. That's a nice piece right there. Then we've got this enamel lion. Enamel. He's got some stones. His mouth is open. He's painted like painted up nice. Red tongue. And could be worn as a pendant as well. And I'm not seeing a maker's mark on it either. So there's that. This one is Wedgwood. I don't even have to turn it over to look. It's again a pendant. And it's got this where you can wear it as a pendant or wear it as a brooch. Uh, it's got this really pretty angel slash cherub on it. Maybe Cupid. He's got a bow. Wedgwood made in England. So that's a nice piece there. A little ladybug pin. And now I'm a ladybug. And then this one is kind of like a Wedgwood-esque cameo style uh, brooch, but it's a faux one, just made of resin. But that's, you know, still cool. Somebody might want that. Okay, earrings. So I've got this pair of earrings, which are really cool. Uh, this little card had a couple of sweet pair of ladybug earrings on it so I thought you know this might be this might be fun to sell people like ladybugs uh, these earrings y'all know how I feel about tassels especially dirty tassels y'all um, but they can be cleaned up and fixed up and made to look uh, nice and pretty again and that, that they're just kind of this kind of brutalist style but with some femininity um, I'm hard but I'm soft so yeah <laughs> uh, no makers marks so I thought those were different and interesting and somebody's going to want to rock those. Not me. These I was surprised at. I really expect to see a, like a cool maker on them. It's got this nice blingy uh, top part of the earring. These charms can be removed uh, when you take that off. And there's a black and a white faux pearl. And when I went to look, the only mark I saw was China. But I just thought they were really, really pretty. And yeah, so those were some that I thought I could sell. The few others I got here, let's see. I got these that I just thought were kind of pretty and blingy. Has that emerald look to them. I don't, yeah, they're not sterling or anything. Uh, these are some Napier uh, screw back clip-ons, which I could sell. And then I set aside these little iridescent hearts just because I thought they were fun. They were fun, like so. And I did save a couple of solos. Oh, there's the other sterling. <laughs> this is the other pendant from the, I was like, how did I get my count off on those sterling pendants? That's a, the other pendant that I had that was sterling. It got mixed up with my earrings. I was like, man, I'm going nuts here. And then I've got some earrings here and then there's some little backs in there. Um, these did not, not have mates. These two, oh, you can't see. These two are silver, and the little turtle appears to have amber for its little jelly belly tummy. 
Is it a turtle? It's not even a turtle. It looks like a turtle, but it's just not. I think it's still a turtle. We're going to go with it. Uh, so those two are, I can either sell for scrap or individually. This one was a little baffling for me. So this earring, like so, not magnetic, but then it is marked. Where's the marking on it? It was something different. Wait, nine, eight, and then it looks like a N or a backwards R. So I know that with silver, you know, nine two five means it's nine, 92.5% um, silver. This one, however, is marked 0.98 and then this like weird N or backwards R or something. Uh, so I, I have not encountered that before. So maybe I should test it out and see what it is. Interesting, interesting. It doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't necessarily give me the vibes of something high quality, but who knows, we'll look. So I'm scratching two parts on this ring. I'm scratching the back part, but then I also want to scratch the front part because occasionally they'll be made of different metals. Okay, so I've got that for the ring. So the back part, I'm trying to line it up. Back part was first, then the front part. And then, my apologies if y'all can hear my neighbor weed eating. Uh, this random ring, I'm going to go ahead and do the scratch test for as well. Um, just to see. There's that. Next, I have the cross that I was curious about. I'm trying to find a spot that's not going to, you know, be very visible. Ooh, that screech. And I'm putting them in order so I don't forget what, which order they came in. Sorry, it's kind of crooked for y'all. Uh, like so. And then finally, this chain that's marked 14K. I'm going to get back here on the back part of it to scratch it. Let me open that up. You may be asking yourself, Margaret, why are you wearing gloves? So the reason I am wearing gloves is because we're about to work with acids. And so I've got my acids out here. I've got a whole testing kit. I like to start with the 10K. Um, and then the 14k the reason I have the 18k out is that the silver will react to the 18k And it's easier to see on the black stone. So the way I do this is I take the 10k first And then I just make a straight little line going down to see if there's any reaction from the the scratches that we've made so basically what would happen is if it is not gold then it will disappear. If it is 10K or greater or better, um, the line will stay put. So I'm seeing on this one, that ring right there, it's actually staying put. This one, which I didn't think it was gold, is vanished. This one, which I wasn't sure about, looks like it's vanished. And also this, this chain looks like it's vanished as well. I can't get it. I can't tell if it's just, I'm gonna look straight down at it. So this one's still there, the others are gone. So even though this one is marked 14 karat gold, it's not. So I don't even have to use the 14K on it. I will though, because if it vanishes with 10K, then it is, um, it's not gonna be 14K. All right, so let's get the 14K go, uh, acid going. If this first one for the ring stays put, then that means it is 14K. I can still try it with 18K. So that was the 14K. Um, I went ahead and just did all of them for, for funsies, right? Okay, so, so far, it looks like the gold is still staying there. So it could be white gold on this with the 14K. Let me get, I'm gonna look straight down because there's a glare for me. Uh, yeah, so the lines are still there for the ring, which is very surprising. Maybe it did get dropped into the, <laughs> the, the garbage disposal. And then now I'm doing the 18K. So if it's silver, <clears throat> it will turn like this silvery bluey white right and then i don't anticipate i do anticipate this one disappearing under 18k because um it's marked 14k so it should yeah see it's starting to disappear on those and those vanished immediately so this is not even um silver with gold over it all right so how about that so these items i mean this is a really nice cross still but it's not gold it wasn't marked either this one whatever the mark was who knows it doesn't mean anything um <laughs> that i can use and then this necklace 
It is marked 14 karat gold and it looks really beautiful, but it is absolutely not gold. It did not test for gold. One little bit. So this is a faker, big fake, um, still a pretty chain, you know, and if I list it, then I will say, you know, marked 14 karat gold did not test as 14 K. Um, but again, you'll probably say, well, you, you know, I, I tested this, this part, you know, I, I could go back and test like the chain part. Maybe it's the chain and maybe it's not this part. And so it's, I mean, it behooves me to double check, but generally if somebody's going to make a 14 karat gold chain, they're not going to like put some cheapy metal on the end pieces. It's going to be all 14 K. This was the big surprise for me. So this one tested out at, uh, 14 K it did. Uh, so I tested this part of the metal and this part of the metal. So now I'm going to get my gem tester and let's test these out. Probably going to be Sapphire. I don't know if those are going to be diamonds or not, but let's get the gem tester while we're at it. So this is my Presidium gem tester. It will test different stones for purity. And if you are a jewelry seller or trying to get into jewelry selling, um, I would suggest first getting a gold silver testing kit because they're way, way more affordable. They're something you can get and have handy. And, and then when you're able, if you're really getting into selling jewelry, it, this is a really handy, this one's a little more expensive, but it comes in handy when you're selling jewelry and you can confidently tell the person like, you know, or tell the buyer what kind of stone you've got because you've tested it and you can show, you know, images of you or videos of you testing the jewelry. So let's take a peek at these. Okay, how about that? Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in so you can see out uh, this little, so you can see, here we go. I'm trying to get everything in the shot. One, two, three, press down. So you can see the bar going over to the ruby and sapphire line. If I hit the metal, it's gonna yell at me. And now we're gonna see if the little clear stones that we've got, if they're diamonds or maybe they're white sapphires um, or something else. Let's grab one off to the side. Hang on. So the white stones in this are testing at diamond and moissanite. Okay, so what we have here is a 14 karat gold ring with sapphires and diamonds. And yes, the back of it is a bit roughed up. So the breakdown of the one they sent me, the, uh, of things that I pulled that I'm going to sell, <laughs> I had to message myself. So necklaces... Uh, 21 necklaces, six, six of them were silver. That gold one ended up not being gold. Earrings, eight sets that I liked that I want to sell. Three for a silver scrap, five brooches, 12 pendants, and three of which are silver, 67 rings. Uh, I think there ended up being five silver. And then the gold one ended up being gold, yes. So, uh, and my numbers there might be off since I have done the video and and found either more or less. So yeah, that's the winner of that. So the mystery boxes, this is America's Thrift Supply, um, where the, let me exit out of this, exit out. Okay, um, where they sent me the jewelry box, you know, 10 pounds, it was $60, jewelry supply mystery. So this one that they sent me, I think as far as $60, and whatever it is for shipping. I don't know if it's free shipping or not. Um, I can't remember. I ordered one. I should know. Uh, but anyway, it's, I think was worth it. I mean, I got a lot of really good stuff. Let me see if I can, am I presentable this morning? I don't know. I didn't put on makeup. This is again, as I said, the next day. So I think for the 60 buck, well, I'm at a weird angle. It's just going to be the weird angle and the weird lighting. Um, I think for the 60 bucks, it's, it's worth it. I mean, I got a lot of really good stuff, silver, gold, and um, some things I can lot up, some things I'm probably going to try using in my whatnot show. Uh, so let's take a peek at the one that I bought and see if there's a huge discrepancy in the one that they sent me versus what, what I got in my box. I haven't opened it, no peeking or anything yet, so I'm going to flip it around and we'll open it up and see what we have inside. Here it is. Here it is. I'm going to open it up. Okay, first things first, what do I notice? It's different. Thanks for shopping with us. Uh, use influencer, code influencer for 10%. Unbox your purchase on YouTube and share, blah, blah, blah. Influencer 10%. Okay, cool. 
And this is, they didn't put that in with my other one because I think they gave me a 15% off uh, code for you guys. I'll have to see how good it's, how long it's good for. Um, but I am noticing that it's in a bag like the other one was. And it is again like 10 pounds. Here's the bag. First impressions. I can say first impressions right off the bat. I'm not seeing as much in the way of like rings. Because in the other one there were tons of rings down in the bottom. Um, uh, I mean, we'll see. I mean, sometimes first impressions can be deceiving because it's so so much. Let me dump it out and then I'm gonna do the whole sorting process again for us. Okay, Let's dump the whole shebang out. Here we go. Oh, it's quite a pile. Hmm. See what we've got. Look at this. It's definitely very tangly. So there's possibilities. Tangles equal possibilities. So finally I got everything mostly detangled. I gave up on some. So this is the stuff that there is still probably sellable stuff in here, but things that I just, you know, snap judgment. What do I want to sell? What do I want to lot up? Uh, this is that right here. Not quite as much as in the last batch. And I didn't see, you know, quite a variety as I did in the other batch. Um, not as many mates as far as earrings go. Um, I don't think there's any rings at all uh and then yeah so i'm gonna show you what's here and decide like okay do i think that this would be something that you know if you're a jewelry reseller that you would want to pick up to get to make money on right because 60 bucks uh if you're making a video too you know you can it's fun so this is what i'm going to probably lot up and let's take a peek at this Let's start with bracelets. Right now, I've got this bracelet. Uh, it's missing a stone, so generally, unless it's something really fancy, I won't sell it with missing a uh, stone. So that's going in the bag. Uh, this one was pretty nice. It's like sm small seed bead bracelet stretch. The stretch is good. So this is one that I definitely think I can sell. This is a nice little one. I love uh, bracelets like this that have the pull string so you can tighten it up. And it's got a sassy tassel so we can sing our sassy tassel song. Sassy tassel, sassy, sassy tassel. This is my sassy, sassy tassel song. Uh, sorry, it's been a while. It's been a while. So yeah, it's a cute little sassy tassel bracelet. Like it. Uh, then I've got just this yellow bracelet. I mean, probably not going to be a huge profit on that, but I'm I probably can sell it for about 12 bucks. So still nothing to sneeze at, a little bit of profit there. This one's got a nice floral design on it, kind of boho. Uh, that one will kind of like cottage, what do you call it? Cottage chic or whatever they call it now, I can't remember. Um, but it's got that style, so that is a good seller probably. This one, again, another yellow one. There's no maker's mark inside, but it's yellow and gold. I don't see a ton, ton of yellow. So I thought this might be a good one to pick up or to sell as well. Uh, this is just a little Howlite bangle, no maker's mark, but it's got these little arrows or dark triangles rather. This one, uh, she believed she could, so she did. I'm probably just gonna put this in a lot in the lot bag. Uh, this one I thought was interesting because it had these little flat, little flat beads, it's still strung together. Uh, I'm probably just going to put that into the lot bag too. This one, do I have any marks on this? It looks like it could be silver, possibly. It's a nice little bangle cuff. Okay, let's take a closer look at this bad boy. Well, I don't see any stamps on it, uh, but I like the little hearts. I like the bangle, like, you know, you can spread it apart to get it, to get it on. So that's one I'll try to sell. I'll test it, but I don't, you know, since it doesn't have any marks, I don't think it's going to be silver. 
Then this one has a little penguin on it. I didn't know if it was a penguin, I just didn't know who it was, but it says Spin Masters Limited on one. And then on this little charm over here, I feel like it's too far away, hang on, SML. So I'm reserving judgment on the little penguin. Sorry, it's super far away, just realized. Let's scoot it in so you can see. It's like this little penguin. Spin Masters Limited, is that something I need to know? I don't know. Anyway, it's a little child's bracelet. But uh, depending on the character, it could be something that somebody wants. And then there's this bracelet that's got, what's that, whales or dolphins or sails? What is that? I can't tell right now. And then some abalone inlay. Looks like just like a little made in China sticker on there, but it looks like it could be silver plate. Um, Cause you can see here where the sticker's peeling up. It didn't get tarnished underneath, so it's still shiny, shiny. There is a stamp right there. Let's see what that says. I don't know. There's nothing there. Uh, yeah, so that's a nice little bracelet. And then let's see. The watch feels kind of cheapy. It's pretty. It looks like it's in good shape. L-I-U. Lou Times. Lou Times. Quartz Movement. I don't know anything about that. I don't know that if that's a brand or... I don't know. Uh, so probably that's going to go back into the bag. There was one pendant. It was this Celtic knot pendant. Probably like a stainless steel. It feels like definitely too heavy to be silver, but that's a nice pendant right there. That's something that's sellable. Zooming in a teens more, okay. And now, hang on, I'm trying to see if that's another bracelet in there. Oh look, I got another, another little bracelet here. Okay, so this little bracelet has got these medallions and little chains. It's just a sweet little bracelet. It looks kind of small, so it might be a child's bracelet or somebody with a very small wrist. I've got small wrists, but this looks even too small for me. So, another bracelet, cool. Uh, one pendant, I think I had two pairs of earrings that were ones I was gonna be selling or trying to sell. And it looks like so. Let me pull this down like here. Like these earrings, I liked that, just that kind of minimalist, simple circle with a teardrop, a black little teardrop. And the other pair that I pulled were these orange hoops. They were just super fun, clean, they looked good. So orange hoops and those. There were two other earrings, they were solos, but these are just big, I kept them because they were silver. So these will go to my silver scrap. Look at my board, it just got ma mangled really bad. Okay, so I have got all these necklaces laid out. There's quite a few, so let me zoom out a little so you can get a feel for what I've got going on here. I am zooming out, zooming out, zooming out. There's more, there's more over here, more over there. So it looks like I've got about 48 necklaces here. Maybe two or so, maybe three are silver. Maybe more. We'll see as we go along. Um, but I do see a couple of like designer ones. So not bad. All right. I mean, yeah, not bad. Let's let's do this though. Okay. So let's make some space here, shall we? All right. First step. There we go. Let me zoom down here. This is a really pretty necklace. Very colorful. This is just like a little. Oh, that's off now. Okay. Um, nice little colorful necklace. It does have a hang tag. And the hang tag says made in China, but I don't think that that's gonna affect the sale value. I think it's really pretty, so that's something I will sell. Then this one says Ashley Stewart. That's not a brand that I really know. It's a very heavy toggle clasp. It has this big medallion heart, plastic uh, faceted um, here. All right, and so that is the necklace that I will sell. Then there is this one. This has got just like this little hanging multiple stone. One of them, it looks like maybe abalone. And oh, does this have a name? Oh, it does have a name, but look how tiny it is. My eyes don't see that tiny. This is Kenneth Cole. All right, so nice little Kenneth Cole necklace. That's something I can sell. I thought this one was pretty. This has got some big blue faceted stones and then this kind of gunmetal gray chain. Let me zoom it out so you can see a little better. Uh, no maker's mark on that, but I just really thought it was pretty and somebody might like it. Uh, 
I kept this one just for funsies. Um, it's just different stones wrapped up in wire. Somebody might like that again. And that's why I chose to keep that one as well. This one is, in my personal opinion, just absolutely hideous. But I am not the one that has to wear it, so that is fine and dandy. This is quite chunky and large. It's quite a statement piece. Uh, black and white, and it does have a hang tag, so let's find out what this maker is. Oh, this is right. I could have looked at some before, and I didn't know what it was. Let me spell it out. A little O. T-R-E-S-K-A-O. I don't know if the O is supposed to be there. Tresca or Otresca. Uh, so yeah, that is quite a statement piece and uh, somebody will love it. Then there's this one. Uh, I went back and forth about wanting to keep this one in my for sale pile because I don't really like strings. And But I really thought, you know, somebody might really like this. I don't know if it's missing something here. Is it supposed to have something there? I don't know. Maybe there's supposed to be a pendant. I'm not sure. It looks like something's missing. So it might go into the bag. All right, next up, this was another one I thought was kind of pretty. It had a heavier chain and then these kind of darker colored, uh, I guess, rhinestones set in it. So that's another nice one that will go for sale. And then this necklace is pretty long, pretty long, long, long. It's got flowers and these little filigree style beads and faux pearls and just kind of all fun. Uh, lots of stuff like that to see. I, again, not my personal style, but you know, somebody might enjoy this necklace a lot. Probably be a good layering one. Uh, this is another one that I was kind of on the fence about because again, string. But this little hammered peace sign was fun and somebody might want it to wear, you know, change it into a choker or just wear it as is. So kind of cool. Thought that would be a fun one. Then there's this necklace, which I think it could be worn long, long or as a double strand like so, because it's got two lobster clasps and I feel like it says cookie Lee, but I'm not quite sure. Let me look closer. No, this is another origami owl uh, necklace. So, yeah, cool. This one, I loved this medallion. It does have some sticker residue on it still, but this, I guess it's brass. Brass medallion, kind of open work, really cool. Um, let me flip it over so you can see the back. No marks, but just super, super cool. Again, I don't like the cord. Uh, oh, there is a mark over here, but uh, it has all these like floating beads and stuff. The cord is kind of, mm, eh. and what have we got here? What does that say? Can you read it? I cannot. It says Jade and Jasper. So that's a brand I will have to look up, Jade and Jasper. Look at this. This is a really cool statement necklace, and it's got this snake chain for uh, the back part the back part of the chain and then it does have a hang tag I cannot read that it's written in a weird font or a, a font that I cannot easily read M E X Z O T S C mix Zotsk. I don't know I don't know if I'm reading that correctly but I will look that one up uh, but it's pretty cool. So even if it didn't have a name on it, I think it's one that somebody would like. It's kind of like breastplate, uh, bib style necklace. Pretty cool. And this lovely one, this is a heavy one. Let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. It's got a long chain. It's very opulent looking, right? This very heavy gold tone chain, this heavy like crystal, lots of little rhinestones or crystals encrusting it. And then we do have a hang tag. No, OPC. <laughs> OPC, which I don't know. But I will say, you down with OPC? And I'll say, yeah, you know me, because it's pretty awesome. This is awesome. This one is a Sigrid uh, Olsen necklace, which is a nice designer. So Sigrid Olsen on this one. And that is one that I will sell this necklace. It's got that Y design. I know there's a name for it, but I can't think of it right now. Somebody's going to tell me and then shame me for forgetting, but that's just the way it goes. 
<laughs> All right, so there's this one. It's got these uh, turquoise howlite cabochons. Maybe howlite, maybe just plastic. Uh, but it's pretty. I think somebody will enjoy that. Then this one, it's got a bit of a mess going on here. I'll have to mess around with it. So this long beaded chain, right? And then it's got all of these little dangly charms hanging from it. So that's another fun one that I thought would sell. Here's another one. This is a nice uh, bib style. It's got these hinges on the panels. Uh, it's you know, just a plastic piece in there, but if for, for a costume or this is that you and I brand that we get asked a lot about that, that tag, that maker. Um, and it has little earrings too, but whatever. Uh, so yeah, I thought that would be a nice one to sell as well. Next piece is this slice of agate. I liked the agate slice, but I mean, it's really cool. You can see through it, but the cord, mm, uh, so I might just try to sell this piece and lose the cord because this is a really nice. Next up is this necklace. I think this is going to be a lucky brand. Yeah, it is. Okay. It's got this little bird and a medallion and some little charms and double strand. And then there's the little Lucky Brand charm on that. So that's a nice little seller there. Looks pretty good. I'll have to see if some stones are missing. Those are just little black stones though. I'll have to check it over to see if any stones are missing. Then we got this, well, it looks like a rosary, but it's not a rosary. It's got bonus hair though, uh, but it's just got a lot of nice, green stones oh bonus here okay. anyway all right so that's a pretty one i will see about selling that this is one that was in my massive tangle uh i like it it looks like a weapon right it looks like i could swing this around and do some damage with this um yeah like i said it looks like a weapon but it's got some um missing you know like the colors rubbed off so that's probably just gonna go to my lawn next another um it looks like a big dream catcher so i thought that was a fun one this one looks like it could be a belt a belt slash necklace uh so that's another one i thought could sell all right then we've got this long long necklace uh with lots of really cool blingy stones and flowers and it is marked, if I can read it, which I cannot, Plunder. All right, so I don't know that brand, Plunder, but it's a nice uh, necklace. Well, it's gonna be flipping all around, so that's one I will, again, try to sell. This was one that was in my major, major tangle pile. I showed it to y'all earlier, it's really sweet. I love it. Beautiful, I, yeah, again, lucky brand. I love the details on this one a lot. Although I know I won't wear it, so not even going to bother catching releasing that one. All right, then we've got this star necklace that has this Y kind of hang down and lots of stars and moons on this one. So that's a, another seller. Yeah, that one is marked 925. So we do have some silver here. So that's good. Here is another one. This is a ball. Don't think it opens. It's got a sassy tassel. And this one and zoom it out this is also a lucky brand these two went together and there's a way on the back that you can connect them to you can wear them together to make a layered necklace or separate to have two separate necklaces so that's kind of cool then i believe that says avon on the back of that one you're danny meowing at us all right, so here is this necklace, uh, Avon necklace, but it's still, you know, quite a, a feminine, pretty style, almost Art Nouveau-ish, but not quite, but yeah, still really pretty. Here's another extra super long necklace, uh, and it's got this just flat, white, kind of how light looking stone with another sassy tassel, y'all. Um, I just thought it was a nice piece with the, with the gold tone and that how light piece i thought someone might like that i feel like i say that a lot someone might like that i've already talked about that one i talked about that earlier and then again the silver rosary necklace which is very delicate and sweet um it's a nice little piece right here so i think that's gonna why do i keep saying that someone's gonna like that i do that's why we're doing this that's why we do this for people to buy it all right, another necklace. This one has got these cat's eye cabochons. Pretty short, 
necklace. This necklace was, it's still clearly all tangled up, but um, this one was a 1 20th 14 karat gold. So it's gold filled and I don't know about the pendant on it, but the chain is. I don't know if I can get to the pendant and find out if it's anything more than that. But the pendant kind of looks like a wishbone to me. This is another Brighton necklace. There's a little hang tag and it does hang um, in layers. So it's got these, If once I get it detangled, but again, I've had it with tangling, detangling. Uh, so yeah, nice little Brighton necklace here. Nice trash can here in the back. Okay, oh, there we go. All right, so my assessment after unboxing the box that they sent me versus the box that I got that I ordered on my own. Again, apologies for the background. I just, it's been a couple days and I've just had it with detangling. I do feel like the box that they sent me initially was better. There was a lot of stuff for me to resell. However, the box that I ordered, you know, yeah, there was a lot of stuff that I'm going to lot up. There is stuff in there that I could have pulled to sell and there was still quite a bit of sellable stuff. So I wouldn't be worried necessarily about getting my money back off of the box um, because I definitely see myself making a profit on it. And perhaps it's just, you know, the luck of the draw as far as that goes. Um, so my, I like it. I'm going to say that. I think that I would have to order another one kind of with that, you know, under the radar and see how it came out to see if the box they sent me was just like stacked with good stuff or if it just happened to be that way is kind of the luck of the draw. Uh, let me know if you order one and how it goes for you. We're always looking for great places to source jewelry to resell and this could be, I mean, because I did get some good pieces in the in the box that I ordered on my own. So yeah, let me know if you end up getting one and what you think about the comparison and everything. And again, thank you to America's Thrift Supply for sending me the box and setting up the coupon code for y'all. And I will talk to y'all on the next one. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.